I'm at the buffet line. What up, what up, what up? This is Ms. the Grizz, new trees represented to the fullest. Trees up, yes, 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 another day, another dollar, another blessing. You mugga muggas hungry and all. I'm gonna ask you again, are you hungry and all? I am. Let's get to proceedings. I'm here in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, at a spot called Hung Wong Supermarket. It's an Asian supermarket. Now, I got a coworker. Me and my coworkers are always talking about food. One of my coworkers telling me that it's a spot in here that sells Vietnamese street food. And is that cool with y'all? I'm oh, cool. I'm cool. We're gonna go in here and see the plot spot is called Mama Mama Haas. Mama Haas. It's like ha. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go in here and see what it's hitting for. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share because sharing is caring. And I will see you mugga mugga in a little. We're gonna go to the back, alright? Peace. I'm at the buffet line. One, two, nine, three times. Big back, but damn I'm fine. You're talking food, hope I'm on your mind. I could be overweighted. This food for thought can't be overplated. I love y'all, can't be overstated. Thank you for your patience. I'm so mad I overweighted. Now the number steady climbing. Everybody wanna fuck with me now. Perfect timing. Full play, been grinding. Been trying to show the world that I'm way more than rhyming. Had personality before YouTube salary. Damn, I'm eating good, but I gotta burn calories. You know, health is wealth. I love y'all, but I love myself. Sometimes I look up at the sky. Sometimes I gotta ask myself why. I'm just being me, no lie. My, my, my. I just want a piece of the pie. So let's talk a little bit, okay? So, things I order. I, um, I got a grilled pork bomb sandwich. Can't go wrong there. I was gonna get the classic one, but I did the grilled pork one. I got the spicy beef noodle soup. Uh, I got a Vietnamese coffee. I needed that. Go lie to y'all. Today I needed that. Me and my coworkers talking about today. I needed that Vietnamese coffee. I got, here goes my, here goes my, my thing. Right, Thank you, you too. Appreciate it. Let's try it out. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. First and foremost, if you haven't yet, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share because sharing is caring. Now, let's get into this. Mama Haas. You know, I'm the king of ha ha ha. You know, that's my. If y'all ever see me when I'm, t um, you know, texting back or I'm saying something, it's always a ha ha ha. Because that's all I'm always doing. I'm laughing as I say. <laughs> that's how it go. No way. <laughs> Mama Haas. Me and my coworkers at work, they talk about food. We talked about it the last couple of days. I said, I'm going to go here one day. We actually talked about it Friday. I wanted to come here on the weekend, but I ain't having no time. I'm here for it today. Let's see what we're hitting for. So I got the iced coffee. Uh, he put salted caramel on top, I believe it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap this mug right now. Shit. Mm, I need that. Woo! If you never had Vietnamese, Thai, any Asian iced um, coffee, tripping. I don't even drink American coffee, like that regular coffee, because it, mm -hmm, it put me to sleep. This is it. Yo, this is for y'all. Food's here. Ah, uh, yeah, y'all y'all know what time it is. Yeah. <sighs> Food here. Let me get a nice little comfy spot for us to sit at. Now, I apologize to y'all. I thought I got the grilled chicken legs. Apparently, I didn't. I didn't get the grilled chicken legs. It's all good. Mm -hmm. But I did get some of that spicy noodle soup. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming these are the condiments for the soup, spicy noodle soup. I did get a bomb me. Yeah, get me a nice bomb me. Grilled pork bomb me. If you don't know, I love me a good bomb me, y'all. A grilled pork bomb me. Put that back in the bag. And I got their house special vermicelli. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Act kind and talk nice to me, y'all. Mm. Mm-hmm. You got that. 
If y'all really want the close-ups, I will give you the close-ups. I think some of y'all really need to see the close-ups, so I'm gonna give you the close-ups, because I ain't give you the close-ups in a while. All right? Stay tuned, hold up. One second. Looky here, looky here. Oh, this is that beef noodle soup. Mm-hmm, oh, I'm gonna tear that up. Mm-hmm. Man, this beef noodle soup gotta get real acquainted. Mm. Oh, this is the um, house special vermicelli. Got grilled pork, shrimp, spring roll, and all the other stuff. Oh my goodness, man. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so I showed y'all all of that. With that being said, time to get down with the get down, man. I'm playing. I'm going. I'm going in for the soup first. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We're gonna see what this soup hitting for first. Dig in. It made me love. I mean, look at it. All kind of stuff. Beef, all sort of bone in there and everything. All kind of stuff up in this suit. Mm. You can tell it's like homemade love up in here. Let me just start getting down with it. Spicy beef noodle soup. Yeah, that's for y'all? Nah, that's for me. Mmm. Wow, oh, that looks like fresh. Look at that right there. That piece of beef. I like the fatty beef too. That's what we're talking about. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's talk about it. Mm. Put this broth first. <clears throat> that broth opened up some things. So it's all kind of cuts of beef in here. <clears throat> Don't ask me. I get fat, I get flank, I get tendon. Hey, look, this is pork. I'm like, <laughs> that's pork, I believe. It's another piece in here. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it because there it is. Somebody probably gonna tell me what it is. I don't know what that is right there, but we're gonna say, well, like a probably blood or something like that. A beef blood. Not bad, it's good. Kind of tastes like liver a little bit. Let's throw all kind of stuff up in here. We got bad foot stuff and put some lime up in here. So everything here. <coughs> Good for the soul right here. This is for weather. There's a little different <coughs> than pho though, to be spicy noodle. There's like all kind of stuff in here. What is this? Mm -hmm. They're going up in here. Put them veggies in there. You know what? I ain't mean to drop all the veggies in there, but all them veggies gonna go well. Added some, added some flavor to this, this dish. Added some nice color, color very. Mm -hmm. If I'm eating it wrong, one of y'all gonna chew me up for it and say something about it. Mm. I don't care if it's wrong. It's good.
Mm. So the condiments added a whole other aspect to it. You know what's weird? I'm gonna say this is how it is. Just like people walk by and they see a black guy here eating with chopsticks, they're just like, yo, you know how to eat with chopsticks? Like, yeah. Not a bad thing. I'm not, not disappointed. So spicy noodle soup is good. I just want it to be spicier. I know y'all see me call for this stuff, but I want it spicier. I'm about to go get some peppers and try to dress this thing up. You know, it hits you to get that, that broth in your system, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I was looking for a little, a little heat, a little excitement today. I woke up and wanted all the smoke with that statement. Got me her crying. And I ain't crying. I put that soup to the side for a second. Let's get right with this bomb A. Let's get right with the bomb A. Mm-hmm. Let's get right with that bomb A. Grilled pork bomb A. Let's get right with it. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. As long as my shepherd, he know I would get loud in the supermarket. I have all these people in the supermarket looking at me like, yo, this mother is loud as hell. They probably want to come back and get some food. I would hear them. Mm. Oh, that's special. When it comes to bomb meals, a lot of people nowadays, they commercialize it. I hate to say it like that. But from my first time having a bomb meal to today, a lot of people commercialize it by me now. Like, it's made too perfect. So I say, I don't mean perfect in a good way like that. I mean, on a bad way, man, it's just too clean, too perfect. I'm used to a bomb me, like, honestly, I like my bomb me looking like this. That's the one I prefer. Some of them be too clean, like too clean cut, like they took their time and just did it real slow. I like mine like that. Mm. Mama hog. Back to cooking with that love. Mm. That's fire. Mm. If you mothers ain't know, I'm wearing pink. Because I never gave y'all breast cancer awareness um, vlog, you know what I'm saying? I know the money is almost over and I apologize to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I do support breast cancer. Awareness, I'm sorry. I ain't feeling my way. This is the pink new trees tea. You know what I'm saying? This is this is actually made for breast cancer awareness month a few years ago. And I just never you know, I don't put it out there, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I um mm, I are good. Mm. They got all kinds of desserts and stuff up there too. I should have got some more stuff. But I ain't gonna be greedy. I'm gonna talk about breast cancer after this. I'm gonna go. That's just, nah, I wanna get to the soup. So badly I wanna eat y'all, but. I'm gonna go get some peppers. I'm gonna leave them peppers alone. <laughs> It's good, flavorful broth. I don't need anything into it. I just want that kick, but I'm gonna leave peppers alone today. Mm. I 
I'm gonna get to the vermicelli bowl, then I'm gonna start talking to y'all eating. I'm gonna get to the vermicelli bowl. <clears throat> That's that vermicelli bowl right here. Mm-hmm. When I say vermicelli bowl, I mean, let's get to it. You got all kinds, you got grilled pork right here, mm-hmm. I don't even need chapstick for this because I'm showing off. You got the grilled shrimp on here. We got a spring roll up on this thing. Mm -hmm. And then underneath there, you got the vermicelli noodles. Vermicelli is rice noodles. You got some, I don't know, some pickled vegetables and stuff like that. Now today, I usually put my fish sauce on top of all of that. I'm gonna do it like this today. We're gonna take that shrimp off there, get off there, get off there, get off the um, toothpick. I said, big ass toothpick too. <laughs> School, let me leave it alone. We're gonna take this fish sauce. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put it on my um, my spring roll today. This is for somebody who said, yo, show the food. I've been, I'm sorry, you know, I apologize, but I'm gonna show the food today. I'm saying, hey, get up in here. Get up in that bag. I don't want my spring roll soggy today. I usually don't mind it, but you never know. Mm -hmm. Put that fish sauce all over that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you just mix it all up, man. You just go for what you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Get them vegetables up in there. Right, let me hold this up. Look at some vegetables up in that mug. Mm hmm. I see what we're hitting for. Mm. Oh, that pork tender is fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. No disrespect, but this tastes. Homemade. No disrespect to no restaurant I've been to, but this tastes like it was made with love. Like, hmm. Mm -mm. Hey man. I'm sorry. Mom said, uh, try this. It's the our meatballs. Meatballs. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. I right, just bought me, gave me some meatballs. This is homemade. Mm. So I love vermicelli. Vermicelli bowls are like, it's like having fuzz soup without the broth in it. That's the way, best way to put it. And some pickled vegetables, it's like a salad, a, a fuzz soup salad. When you put the vegetables in there, mix it all up. I usually put some some um sriracha in mine. I don't even need that stuff today, man. I don't even need it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even need it. Just go like this and just. Hmm. Mm. My coworker Jamie. Jamie, thank you for putting this in my ear. <laughs> I said, we sit at work all day and we talk about food. That's, it's food that brings people together sometimes. I mean, no, no, no wrong doing that, but food, talking about food with people will bring you together that much closer sometimes. You realize they like food like you like food, you know what I'm saying? We used to have a different taste of ethnicities of food. I love all different ethnicities of food, so. I can mingle with the best of y'all for some food. Some stuff I won't eat, but most stuff I will. Mm. This is good. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Let's talk. Mm. 
Mm. I didn't get to the spring roll yet. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I was saying earlier, some stuff you can tell when it's homemade, this has a real homey feel to it. When it's up there uh, made from the heart, it has a homey feel to it. Some places I'm going to say a lot of Vietnamese restaurants nowadays have been commercialized, watered down now. And it's, it's not wrong with it. I understand the price of things go up, but, you know, I've been eating fun since <coughs> fun was... <coughs> Since pho was, like, honestly, like $6 a bowl. Let's talk. <coughs> I've been eating pho since pho was $6 a bowl. Not no more. I look at some pho places, and you can tell it's commercialized. You look at some of the items on there, you look at the way it's made, and they done ran the price up. I've seen places this twenty dollars for a bowl of pho. So you, you kidding me? I would say homemade food. I like homemade food better than commercialized foods any day. And like I said, this one just got a homey feel, so it feel like it was made with love. Like Mama Ha, I met Mama Ha too. I should have got some word from. Her. I might go back there and get some more from. Or she was just coming back. Like she back there just cooking it. Like she at home cooking, preparing a meal. If this is how it's made, mm. Mm. that's fire. Y'all about to get one of the long episodes again. Let me um, I'm put that vermicelli up because the only thing on Earth today is that soup because I'm not going home with no soup today. I'm gonna get into this meatball. I believe this is a Vietnamese meatball. They want me to try it? Hold up. Damn. Damn. Oh, shit, yes. Oh, yes, that's it. Oh. It kind of tastes like a chicken meatball. I'd be wrong, but it's real, it's dense. Might be a pork meatball. Because it holds a lot of flavor. It holds a lot of flavor in it. And then. Their version of tomato sauce is way thinner than our version of tomato sauce that we eat. It's thin. But good and flavorful. You can still taste the hint of tomato in it. Mm. Mm. Oh, it got garlic in it. You got scallions, green onions in it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. They're going to have me going home to this fool. I'm going to get to this beef noodle soup while I'm talking to y'all, though. So now I was talking about breast cancer awareness. Breast cancer awareness, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those things every year I try, if, if y'all been watching videos, every year I try to give y'all, my plan be to rock up this pink new trees tea every vlog I do for October. I've been keeping a buck because y'all, I ain't been doing as many vlogs. But, but I'm for breast cancer awareness. I know people that have gone, that have had breast cancer. I know people that have passed from breast cancer. May their souls rest in peace. You know, I'm here for support for people who do have breast cancer. It's a serious thing, and I do support. I do the walks. I just don't have to put it out there to people. You know what I'm saying like. <clears throat> Um, last year I did, the, I, I did, I went to the walk and somebody was like, I went to the walk and I had a friend and she was like, man, why don't you, 
I don't know, she said go live, post a picture, and I, I kind of said I just like to go low key sometimes. I like to be low key. I don't have to show my face to show that I support something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to. Sometimes I just want to walk amongst everybody and be regular. Some people notice me. You notice me, cool. If you don't, cool. I've never been the type that's going to go somewhere and be like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Look at my face. I'm not, a, I'm not a flashy individual at all. Um, you know how many times it's something like big I support or a movement I support, and you'll catch me there just trying to be low-key. If you know me, you know me, but if you don't, I'm low-key as hell. Some people notice me, and some people say what they got to say. Miz, yo, Miz, and some people don't. I like to be low-key. Mugs don't realize that sometimes. I like to be low-key with a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love attention, but I don't, I don't never want to come across as, and I explained this to a person. I don't think the person got it at the time. If you're watching this, I don't think you got it at the time, but I was trying to say, explain that. <clears throat> I'm not, I can support something without making it, you know what I'm saying? Like, knowing that I'm supporting it. Why? Because I never want to come out across as being a, a clout chaser. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't ever want to come across and be like, oh, Miz is dear, Miz on, on me did something because it could benefit him. I don't ever want to be that person. I never want to go somewhere. I'm never going to be that person that's going to go somewhere and just say, because I got to be here because it's good for my brand. No. And I'm saying, I, rather, I like my brand organic and regular, and I don't want nobody saying I, I, my face was somewhere because it was something to gain. I don't want nothing to gain from it. I just like the support. It's a lot of things I've been to. You know what I'm saying? Like, from breast cancer walks to stop the violence, um, protests and everything like that. I've been to a lot of stuff, but I feel low. Cause I don't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't nothing, I don't want to gain off of something that I shouldn't be gaining off of. I don't want to come across as a clout chaser. If I gave somebody something, you would never see me on camera give it, show, telling you that I gave somebody something, I donated anything. That's just not me. I'm saying like, I just keep it regular, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody to be like, Miz gave me this. I don't, that's not me. I just want to come across and I want y'all to like me for who I am and eating this good food. But not that part, though. I don't want to come across like I'm trying to get y'all no sympathy. I don't, I don't like sympathy. I don't like pity points. I don't like, oh, I don't like that kind of stuff. Well, sometimes maybe, but not all the time. I really don't. Like, not, not off the expense of something that others are going through. I pass on that. But I rock this shirt, this pink shirt, and for people with breast cancer, anybody we lost, anybody that I know that's going through it right now, you know. Mm. I was definitely pork in this soup. It's definitely pork. I rock this shirt for y'all though. You know, this is for y'all. I'm gonna get a new one. Next year, I'm gonna get a new one. But speaking of this shirt, this is a new hat that's available on the website, newtrees.com. I don't know. This shirt, I think we got to. Bring this shirt back out again, but a different color. When I say different color, I mean the shirt. I mean the logo. We're gonna make a change. We're gonna make a change to the logo color. Keep the same logo. I just got different colors, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still keep this one as well. Let's talk about some things that people said to me. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. It's been a while, so this is my first time vlogging. Did I vlog before? Since I shaved my beard down a little bit. I remember somebody said, yo, grown men don't shave. I <laughs> shave their beard. I know, Chief, I know we don't shave our beards, man. You know, we do, but I'm able to pull it off, so I'm like, all right, cool, you know. I still look smooth with it. You know, it's, it's there, it's light. It's growing back now, you know. I just need a, I need a new look. Now, I'll be honest with y'all. It wasn't even a new look thing. It was the fact that I cut that mug off because 
I had something to do and I cut a little bit. I was shaping myself up. I took a little bit off the side too much and it just looked uneven, so I just took the whole thing off. Just wanted it to go back evenly, so it's going back evenly, but I'm gonna keep it a little neater than past. You get what I'm saying? I'm keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it clean. Keep it grizzly but clean. And some of the most important things I went to this month, I had to go to without a beer. Facts, man, it was a little different than I usually do. I had to go to it without a beer. Me and Juke went to a food preview. Um, we went to a, f a food preview um, event and I had my beer. I felt so butt naked there, y'all. I'm like, dang, man, I feel like, I don't know how that <laughs> I just felt butt naked there, man. I felt like I have no, I felt naked in the world. <laughs> um, I really wish, I can't wait this girl going back and it's all said and done, you know. This gonna look perfect. I'm gonna have a perfect beer, cause I'm gonna, I don't know. I just went for a new look. I want a new look, man. I want a new look. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I know some of y'all gonna be used to the beer. Even the first day I cut this beard off, I went out. And I mean, people look at that, man. Sometimes I always get people to say, yo, Miz. And people look like, that look like Miz, but one person noticed. It was like, you that guy from YouTube, ain't you? And I'm like, with a baby face and all, like, yeah. But I don't know. And I, I cleaned the scallop up too, so I was, it was a clean cut. Nothing against you. I gotta eat all this beef noodle soup because this is not going home with me. Vermicelli will. And meatballs will. But the vermicelli, but this, the um, soup, no. I have a good night watching some Monday Night Football tonight. And everything like that. Mm. But yeah, I want, I'm thankful for a lot of y'all. Thank y'all. To everybody who took the time to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sharing is definitely caring. Facts. I, I can't express it more. I'm saying like, I wish it was a way that I could personally thank all of y'all. Every, everybody take time to watch the video. I wish it was a way I could personally thank y'all. I wish, I wish it really was, man. Like. Love comes from all over the world, man. Love comes from all over the, the United States, the world, even different planets. Let me stop. <laughs> but nah, for real, love comes from all over the world. So shout out to wherever you're from that's showing love. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying, matter of fact, let me know where you're from down there, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let me know where the love is coming from. Appreciate y'all. I would say whether it's one or a million, I'm far from a million, but I'm well past that one, and it is what it is. I'm grateful to be past that one. Facts. <laughs> it's good too, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Try it. It's a girl that walked by and she said, it smelled good as hell. I ain't gonna hold you. She's like, I never had this kind of food. I wish she would try. I'm about to give her this half of my me. And tell her, try this. Like I said, I'm, I'm wanting to tell you, open your taste buds up. You know what I'm saying? Open your taste buds, enjoy it. Life's short, man. Life's short for you to be eating the same old stuff all the time. Not just eating food, but life is too short for you just to be stuck somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, I said it before in a couple videos before that, I'm growing, man, you know, like, if you know me, you know me. Some people realize, like, I'm getting to the point now, man, I'm like, I feel like I'm growing somewhere, man, like outside of the normal meds, man, you know what I'm saying, the grids. I'm growing outside of that box, man, you know. From everything, from the way I look at life, 
from some of my insecurities, I don't have many of them, you know, so I'm confident, but you know, from the way I look at other people, from the way, you know what I'm saying, like, I receive love from other people and stuff like that, I'm growing. I just got to, man, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be a bigger man and be bigger and do what I do. You know what, I'm sitting here eating. And I see people, and I wish somebody just come up and speak because people looking at me and I don't have my big camera today, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't, it ain't really noticeable, but I know what it is. But, yeah, I'm growing, man. You know, we, it's called growth. <sighs> growing, man. Like, Everything, my mindset definitely is growing, man, a whole lot. I be talking to people at work. I got some of my coworkers like, yo, he be like, yo, you be dropping gems, man. I'm like, I really don't see it that way, but you know, life lessons, you know, you have to start to drop gems, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I always had a positive outlook on life or another look on life, but you know, things have changed. Now we can talk a little bit. You know how I said before, I don't know if I said this before, but you know, some things you, understand when you're younger but when you get older you overstand those things man when you get over i overstand a lot of things now man like you know like life has made me overstand you know i've been humbled you know what i'm saying on some things i've been places that i don't want to be no more you know I start, i'm more conscious of things everything a couple of people have hit me up and be like, yo, Miz, when we gonna get another Miz album? And I tell you about my mindset, my mindset ain't where my mindset used to be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, we y'all embrace the new Miz. I mean, I, it ain't nothing different, because I'm still a lyrical beast, but I don't wanna get rowdy. I mean, I still get rowdy, but I got so much more to talk about now. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to walk out the store eating this. It seems like a never ending bowl of, of soup. Yeah, every time I think I finish it, I dig back in and it's a whole heap of damn noodles in here again. And, and beef. <laughs> but yeah, I've been, you know, I've been humble. If you took the time to stop and watch this video for this long, thank you. I haven't been doing videos like I usually have. Um, like I said, my, my main, my main purpose, reason is because I don't, I don't feel it no more. And it's not that I don't feel it, it no more, but I kind of feel like it just, you know. Mm -mm. It's just something. But I do it for the ones that love me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all that watch me and could appreciate it, I do this for y'all. Thank y'all. <coughs> I say love, and I mean, I just feel like, you know, ain't no love from the restaurants no more sometimes. Some of these restaurants act like they're doing you a favor. I don't like that feeling. And what I mean by that is, if we're gonna, not everyone, but if we're gonna put something out together, if we ain't even together, I'm gonna put something out. And it's helping you out, share it. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way you can thank me, man. It is what it is. But it's not, that's not even it. I just don't, I'm just tired of the same old stuff. If I get the same old stuff, I just wanna eat it. I said before, I'm not gonna force nothing on camera because I need content. Enough, this is a 40 minute episode and it can, we can't be going this long. So I thank y'all for liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing, because sharing is definitely caring. I appreciate y'all, word up. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. And all I can say is thank you. For some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Thank y'all, take off, even when I'm, <clears throat> that's a hug. That's a handshake for y'all. That's that for y'all.
I said, what's up, man, you know? Some people I see, some people I've never seen, you know what I'm saying? But it still show me love, man. Whether it's on here, YouTube, or it's my IG page, go follow me on IG, you know what I'm saying? Facebook, whatever. I get love everywhere, what's up, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I thank y'all again for, for watching, and I'm rolled out of here, you know what I'm saying? I, I think people see this camera, and they just like, oh, snap, this ain't what doing. I'm in here grubbing. Not grubbing, grubbing. I'm like, oh, you want some of this, man? I feel like Blair's on, on, on juice. Yo, 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 y'all want some of this? Nah, man. Ask somebody that. But, yo, till the next episode, trees up. <laughs>